Hello, my name is Vladimir Zidek and I am working in Trust Company as a Java developer. In this video, I would like to introduce Apache Cable and one of its many connectors, specifically a connector uh, for consuming, producing and processing events from Apache Kafka. Apache Cable is one of uh, the dominant open source integration language which allows you to quickly and easily integrate different systems with each other in one application using available components and connectors. Integration into a Java application is easy for experienced developers thanks to minimum dependencies. Apache Camel is most used for creating request-driven and streaming applications. Apache Camel offers ready-made components for integration with different systems like REST API or SOAP, uh, which enable the consumption, processing and produ production of messages either in one or between different systems using ready-made connectors. A typical use of Apache Camel is a protocol bridge, uh, read event stream processing event and store information in another system, for example database. It can be used as a client or server site for SOAP and REST web services. Our company has been working with Camel for more than 80 years due to the fact that in, it provides more than 300 connectors. We use it uh, mainly when creating integrated microservices running on the OpenShift platform. The Apache Camel application is defined in a runtime container called uh, Camel Context. This container provides a runtime environment for message processing, routing and integration between different systems. These rules are primarily defined in the Java language, but Camel also provides support for other languages such as XML, Groovy and Scala. Camel Roots is used to define these rules. They are used to define the input or output endpoint using defined URIs. They also define the routing of messages between systems and the processing of messages using implemented processors, such as transformation, validation and other types of message processing. In this video, I will present a simple implementation of this framework with the Kafka connector in the Java language. In the first step, it's necessary to add the correct dependencies for Camel Core and Kafka connector to the Maven project. In the next step, we will create a camel context where we will add defined routes and we can run this context in the mine method. In order to consume and produce messages, it is necessary to define routes. We need the correct configuration for creating a camel route with a Kafka connector. The most important configuration parameters for Kafka are Kafka brokers, Kafka topic, Kafka group ID and the unique root name. In this case, the manual commit property is interesting. This property allows us to manually control the committing of offsets in processed topics in case the Kafka connector doesn't have auto offset commit enabled. Next, we can proceed to defining the route. In the from section, we define the input endpoint URI with the necessary parameters. We define the root ID in the body of the root, and if we want to process the incoming message, we also define the processor. If we want to send the message to another endpoint, we define this endpoint with the necessary configuration in the section 2. We can send messages from the code directly to the root using the created producer template, and the root will act as a producer. To process the message, we can define a processor directly in the root, or we can create it's a new class that implements the processor interface. With the help of the exchange object, we can get the message and process it according to our needs. We can create our own new properties for the exchange, or use the predefined ones. In this example, information about whether the number in the input message is seven or add is stored in exchange. Uh, I can use this property later in the route to decide what to do with the message. In the following example, a wall route is defined that consumes a message from a Kafka topic and based on the exchange property added in the processor, it is decide what to do with the given message. We can see that if there is an event number in the message, it will be sent to a different topic that if uh, there is an odd number. 
In some cases, it may happen that the processing of the message fails or we received a damaged message from the Kafka. In this case, various strategies are used to treat these conditions to do not lose data. The most used strategies are stop on error, retry topic strategy, and the DLQH strategy, alias that letter Q handler. Stop on error strategy. When an error occurs, the offset is not committed and the consumer is turned off. After the error is fixed, the consumer is turned on again and continues processing messages from the last committed offset. If necessary, the damaged message will be skipped by using barrier. Dead letter Q handler strategy. With this strategy, a damaged or unprocessed message is stored in a dead letter topic. The name of the source topic and information about the number of repetition are stored in header of message. Next, this topic is cyclically consumed and the messages are returned to source topic where they are carefully processed. Retry topic strategy. A damaged or unprocessed message is sent to the retry topic, which is uh, identical to the original topic. Uh, unlike the LQH, this message is not sent to the source topic, but processing is performed by the another consumer and, or another application with the same logic about, about this topic. Another problem can be rebalancing. This can occur if the consumer disconnects or if the Kafka disconnects it due to inactivity. For example, if the web services is called during processing and it does not respond for a long time. In this case, the partition is assigned to another consumer. The bigger problem with rebalancing is the duplicate processing of messages because the new consumer starts consuming messages from the last offset which was the disconnected consumer of the commit. At the end, I would like to summarize today's video. The use of Apache Camel in application is profitable thanks to its simple implementation. We can use it to easily connect many systems to each other, provides metrics that, that can be used in Prometheus and Grafana. It deals with error handlings quite simply.